let's explore the data pool which uh, the sample data the O2C data has created so get into the data pool uh, and uh, process data model so it would have created this data model so we will see that so that will be a little bit interesting as well you'll see multiple tables created over here and respective join conditions and if you are from a database background uh, in fact there is a there is a um, uh, topic or a subject called the database design itself where you create um, um, different tables you have the entity relationship uh, diagrams in place and um, based on that you have the join conditions uh, you have a primary key and a foreign key relationship and that is what is actually done over here different tables OE order um, OE order header tables are there this header tables lines and uh, uh, let's look what is this table okay the way you can do is so I mean click on this so this is a fact table order line history and order lines all and uh, th this is the join condition header id line id uh, and uh, this is a line tables and this is of course the uh, activity table this is where this is the case key so case key is joined with the line id so they have to, ideally what they have done is the line id is actually taken as the case key so because um, you have multiple lines an order can have multiple lines so each line will go into a transformation uh, business process so initially uh, an order line will be in a open status and then probably uh, once um, you want to uh, pick the goods um, the orders will be picked up the status will be picked and then it could be order status could be uh, shipped and uh, so on and so forth and finally the line gets uh, closed so that's where um, a single line will go through the uh, different um, activities or process so that's where it is being taken as a case id uh, or i mean case key itself the line id so yeah that's about it um, it is it will be that's what um, if you look at uh, the database there are there are similar tools in oracle called sql developer I mean you want to design a database people use uh, those tools uh, SQL developer where they have all this um, relationship uh, built in uh, it will looks something similar and that is how um, a kind of a process mining uh, application will look it's, it's rarely it is just based on one table it has to be multiple tables five tables or ten tables based on the uh, requirements so and again once you get into the studio uh, you can yeah here it is so let me yeah this way it gets some um, customer satisfaction productivity let's look at what is there on the productivity on hold so it goes to into this tab order values on hold it gives you the uh, details so of course you need to edit if you want to look out what component it is um, built on then of course you can uh, click it so order values on hold type is a number uh, gauge radial fill so that's the uh, component and you have the um, pql as well so how to get into that uh, pql yes open the formula editor uh, then you can 
get to know whether it is we have already seen a visual editor uh, you can use and uh, once you execute it gives the value so um, yeah the variant explorer you can further if you want you can further uh, explore uh, I mean, uh, if you want to see how it goes, how the flow goes, you can do that. Or if you, I mean, uh, the DFT diagram, how it changes, you can see those. Um, so number of uh, variant. This we have already seen it, uh, the DFT as well. So if you again, you can always play around with it. Uh, you can always create a sheet, um, new sheet, or uh, let me delete that sheet. You want to check with the process confirmance. Let's see that. So say confirmance, process confirmance, mine target. Uh, I'm just having going to have only one. So then that means the the rest of the process. Um, or not confirming to process only this is the standard one then it will show uh, only 85 percent conforms to that uh, conformance model so you can have the cross model bpmn so it gives that uh, notation as well you can uh, find out all the details what has happened violations incomplete case uh, create a quotation is an un because for us if you look at it this is the process so that that is where it is showing that um, create quotation is a um, is a violation whereas um, if you include all of them naturally it will show uh, none of them uh, is uh, yeah it is hundred percent is conforming because all the variations we have uh, included we have accepted so that's where it is showing zero violations so this is again with the data you can just uh, play around as well um, learn more and more on the process mining but again this is just a starting stage I just showed you uh, various features and as you um, depending upon the need you can learn more go through the documentation uh, load the data appropriate data get into the quick start um, I'm not sure if it is uh, from the SAP background yeah you can use uh, uh, quick loads um, if you are confident with the SAP tables then with a quick start you can get into the SAP table part that is P2P or O2C so you can use uh, the SAP as well I am sure they would have provided because I have not from a SAP background so I have not seen uh, not tried out uh, the um, the SAP part but I think uh, that should work uh, well as well so that's about uh, the sample data with a multiple uh, data upload into the multiple table and what are the various kinds of analysis um, which uh, Celonis offers. Thank you.